All right, guys, today we have a special video. We're going down the 90s memory lane with a lot of nostalgic things we're going to show off in this video. We're going through my whole 90s collection of toys, collectibles, all these sorts of things that you guys don't want to miss if you're a fan of the 90s. Let's get into it. Game in tech, eating brekkie is the game in tech, going for a brekkie is the game in tech, game in techie is the game in tech, game in techie. Hey guys, welcome to another one of my videos here. Today is a really exciting day because I finally get to show you guys my 90s collection. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but I couldn't post it until that 90s party that you saw in my previous video with the, with the vlog that I did until that was actually done in real life because I didn't want anybody to see the stuff that's here that was coming to that party. Um, so I didn't want them checking my YouTube channel to see what was going to be there because this was all kind of brought upon by throwing this 90s party now part of my collection, of course. So, this is going to be a rather lengthy video because there's a lot of stuff in this box, so we're just going to dive into it right now. Um, let's go ahead and start off really basic here. So, what I found here is a Sony CD player from back in the day, and what's nice about this is this is the exact one, you know, the exact model that I used to have when I was a kid, and it's everything in this box, including this and everything, all functions fully, there's nothing wrong with any of these items. And uh, this is really nice because this is the exact CD player that I had, like, you know, when I was a kid or a teenager and this is really cool to have and be able to still listen to CDs on this is uh, a cool experience uh, you know with you know going back through the 90s nostalgia so that was a really cool piece there we're gonna store some stuff here on the floor and all over the place there's a lot of stuff in here guys um the next thing on this list is actually a magic eight ball now if you can actually see there it may be hard for you guys to see but this thing is actually the original Magic 8-Ball. This is actually from 1998. So you can see here, I don't know if, if it's easy for you guys to make out, but it's actually so old that it's like discolored as far as like the water inside. You can still make out what it says on some of the words. Uh, you can see that that says no and stuff, but the liquid is uh, like not showing very well because this thing is so old. But it still functions and uh, it's really cool to have it in the box and everything from 1998. Almost everything in this box was in the 90s. Even if there's some things in here that they make nowadays, I made it a point to find these things that were back in the 90s. Uh, the next thing we have on this list is, of course, there's another one somewhere, the classic yo-yo. There's another one hiding somewhere that I can't see right now. Oh, there it is. The classic yo-yos that we have here. Now, these, this one here also hasn't been opened or touched before. This is from 97. The original one, and then uh, we have the performance one that a lot of people used to like back in the day that light up and stuff. So, yo-yos are really fun. They're still fun nowadays to mess around with, so I'm cool. To, I'm, like, I'm like having that as part of the collection as well. And moving on to the next thing here. Who could forget the iconic Furby? He's going to wake up here in a minute because I'm touching him, I guarantee you. Unless if the battery's died on him. Oh, there he goes. He's alive. So, that's a classic Furby there. You guys have seen him before. Hopefully he's not talking now throughout the whole entire video. He's just sneezing for like a million times. But uh, yeah, that's a classic Furby. Also one of the ones from the 90s, so that's cool. And of course, this is the iconic Skip It. This is the original one made by Tegra Electronics back in the day because they had another company making making this more recently in the 2000s. This is the Tegra Electronics one. The counter actually still works on it. And uh, it's not in bad shape considering that people used to hit this on the concrete and stuff. So it's cool to have that. Here we have the original Bop It. Oh, he's going to just interrupt our conversation all the time. Uh, this is the original Bop It, the one with twist, pull, and Bop It only. Uh, also, one from the 90s as well. This is really cool. Uh, works and functions perfectly. Can't, No one can forget the original Bop It. I used to play with that thing as a kid all the time. Um, there's some cooler stuff in here, too. Let's get to, let's get to this right here. Um, I'm a big fan of 3D. I don't know if that's ever been mentioned on this channel. I actually have a 3D projector and still buy 3D movies. I love 3D in the home. I use it with my projector. Um... I actually have a 3D Vision, if you guys remember that from NVIDIA from back in the day, when they had it on PC. I, th I thought that was really cool. Hence why I'm such a big fan of VR, because it's kind of mashing a couple things together. The Viewmaster here is really cool, because it's kind of what started VR. Or, sorry. It's kind of what started 3D. And I have a bunch of different films here and stuff from all different series, like Rugrats and Doug Funny and stuff. 
And obviously you can look through the viewfinder here. And surprisingly, for something that was made there in the 90s, this looks really good. Like when you swipe through here, I wish I could show you guys this. But it really does look 3D like you're looking through. I need to figure out how to turn this guy off. Um, let's see if he stops. If you put him down here. Goddamn Furbies. Um, so yeah, we have a bunch of viewfinders here, so this is cool. Oh, he's on the, well, maybe he stops. Um, so the viewfinder here is cool. So there's a lot of different, uh, you know, of these things that you can find. I have about like 20 of them or so. And really cool to have and really nostalgic to look through these. Um, of course, who can forget the craze from back in the day in the 90s as these things. Who could forget about Beanie Babies? Um, these things were like the craze back then. You know, my cousins and all of them still have a bunch of these. I used to collect them. They're just all over the place. Some of them are really valuable. Very few of them. But if you find some of the specific ones, they can go for a lot of money. But most of them are not worth much anymore. Um, some of the stuff also came from the Nickelodeon box that I did a video on previously. So you guys might see some stuff in here because it's also thrown in this box. For example... A couple of things here that we got from the 90s box. You guys remember that show from Nickelodeon Guts? This is the actual aggro piece that you used to win on the show if you were a part of the team um, that won. So this is a nice cool piece. I used to love that show. I used to watch it all the time. So this is a nice little, you know, memento statue piece to have in the collection from that show. I really like that. And uh, here we have a Hey Arnold bus pass. This is really cool too from the show. So this is his actual bus pass. Something that I got that's really cool too, if you guys remember, if you see my game room tour, you know that I'm a really big fan of The Mighty Ducks. It's one of my favorite movies, hence it's on the movie room wall. And I was able to get a uh, signed um, puck from Matt uh, from Matt from the uh, Mighty Ducks movie franchise. He plays Averman on The Mighty Ducks. So you can see that there's a certificate of authenticity. And there is the uh, actual puck, so that's really cool. Next we have a Tommy Ball, so I don't think this needs any explanation. This is the official Tommy Ball from the Rugrats. Really cool piece here. And who could forget the Nickelodeon blimp from back in the 90s. It's just, just a, it's like a water uh, thing. But this is the, like, it's really hard to find like an actual Nickelodeon blimp like this. So this is really cool just to, you know, never forget about the Nickelodeon 90s cartoons. Because they're still not, nowhere near as good nowadays as those 90s cartoons. Here is the original Nerf Junior Ball. I think this was the first Turbo Junior Nerf Ball that they ever released from back in the in early 90s. And this is in really good shape, as you guys can see. We're throwing this around back. This is a really good, nice ball. Those are hard to find and could get expensive, too. Here we have some action figures, also from the 90s. They're a little bit, like, worn out, but they still stand up when they need to from the Power Rangers here. So these are pretty cool. Uh, the next thing we have here, who could forget the show, Keenan and Kel. So, who loves orange soda? Kel loves orange soda. And me, because I'm obsessed with orange soda. Um, so this is a pin with who, that says who loves orange soda from Keenan and Kel, so this is cool. Um, let's look at some VCR tapes here. I actually have more VCR tapes over there in the corner, that I added because I added a VCR to this room, uh, to be able to watch some of these classic shows that I can't find anywhere else right now. Um, and some of these are really cool. I have almost every single Mary, Kate, and Ashley on v VHS now. I have a bunch of them over there. And this is just the one that I decided to show you off here. This is uh, Mary, Kate, and Ashley's Hawaiian Beach Party. They had so many of these VCR tapes. They literally have like 10 listed on the back. I'm telling you which ones you should buy next. They just made so many of these things. Um, and of course, the Good Burger movie. Can't forget about that one. And of course, the Rugrats the movie. So, those are just three of, like, 25 or so that I have now. But, you know, I'm not collecting VCR tapes by any means. I'm just collecting the shows that I can't find anywhere and that I really want to watch at some point. So, some of these are hard to find in any other way. Uh, we got some Ninja Turtles here. Little action figures from the Turtles in the 90s. So, these are cool. These actually might even be from the 80s, if I remember correctly, when I bought this. Uh, let's see here. We got the original Slinky. And what's cool about this piece, not only do I have the original Slinky and the original box, but this is actually the one that was made originally by, what's the name of the company, manufactured in the USA by James Industries. James Industries is the one who actually made the original Slinky, so this is, there's, 
Obviously, they sell these still all the time, but they're made by other companies like Hasbro and stuff. This is the original James Industries one with the original box, so that's cool to have there. Uh, a couple of things we have here. This is a really cool piece right here. We have a crayon. Uh, I'm not going to take it out because it's a little annoying, but who could forget the classic show, classic show Blues Clues. We have the actual green can, crayon here with the actual notebook. You can go through and the handy dandy notebook. So you can go in here and, uh, you know, write all these things down and stuff. So this is cool to have this as part of the collection as well. This is from The Legend of the Hidden Temple. Who could forget another classic show from Nickelodeon? One of the game shows. So the game shows back then were so good. And this is cool. It, like, lights up. If you throw... I don't have a quarter anywhere around me right now, but if you could light it in a quarter, the lights light up and stuff. So this is a pretty cool piece from... If you guys remember that show, you'll recognize what this is. Um, another thing that was big back in the day, if you guys remember, I had one of these as a kid. I used to love this thing, Yak Back. You basically sit here and you record and it will play back what you're saying either backwards or forward um it, it was just a really fun stupid toy from back in the day that a lot of people were obsessed with and i used to love this thing yak back backwards is the addition i have so you can play it forward and backwards and you know say some funny things on here so and going with that trend here what we have here is the talk boy this thing is the original talk boy it actually has the home alone tape in here let me see if it actually plays might need to be rewinded. It may be. Let's see if that rewinds and plays. But yeah, this thing fully functions and works. You can still record on it. It's pretty cool. A lot. Of, who could forget the classic commercial of this thing too? Um, you know, watching this commercial brings back memories of this thing. I don't think I ever had one of these as a kid. I just remember always wanting one because I've seen the commercial so many times. But uh, let's see what this plays like. Yeah, it might not have anything on it right now. But I know the first... I forget what side it's on because you can record on both sides, obviously. I don't know if it was the side A or side B and it was in the beginning where it has the Home Alone like section where they play part of the movie and stuff. So that's cool. Some of the other stuff we have in here, we have an original 90s uh, McDonald's toy that's still not even open from the Happy Meals from back in the day from the Muppet Babies, if you guys can see that. So that's a cool thing there. Some of the cool things that we really have in here... These are actual, I can't show you guys a close-up of this, unfortunately, because you won't be able to tell it from the camera, but these are actual movie slides from the hit show Friends. One of my favorite shows this is number two on my top shows of all time. You will see what my number one is if you guys don't know what it is already. And this is really cool because it's literally slides from the actual movie. Like, this is official slides. Like, they're marked, and they were given to, to the, them by the studio. I was lucky to find this on eBay uh, from WB that they handed to the cast, and they actually had these slides. These are official slides, so... That's a really cool piece to have from one of my favorite shows from back in the 90s. Uh, the Simpsons guy here. This is one of the famous, um, one of the famous, like, figures that they had for The Simpsons back in the day. To be honest, I, I haven't watched that many Simpsons episodes, so I'm not, I wasn't ever a huge fan of The Simpsons. I was more like a family guy and, and all those kind of shows, but I started to get into watching them, so we'll see how that goes. I haven't, I never watched them as a kid. Uh, who could forget this classic thing? The start of, like, the iPad revolution, of, or iPod revolution, Hit Clips. I have, uh, the Britney Spears song Stronger in here for the sake of maybe not getting flagged on YouTube. I'm not gonna play it, but it still functions. Man, these things were everywhere. People had, like, a keychain with, like, 50 discs on it. Um, this was crazy back in the day. Oh, man, I used to love these things, too, as a kid. Tech decks. I used to do crazy tricks out here and pop them up. And uh, I was never really good at it, but you could do some crazy things. People were good. They had a bunch of ramps for these things. Um, these were really cool. So, tech decks from back in then. Next thing we have here is, uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark Flashlight? Uh, it says The Midnight Society. So, if you guys remember, Are You Afraid of the Dark? One of our iconic shows from back in the 90s as well. And um, this is the official flashlight. So, that's cool. Uh, we got here, uh, who could forget these things from back when they were kids? Us guys probably didn't play with these as much, but, you know, my wife did and a lot of other uh, girls did. Polly Pocket. So this is our Polly Pocket that we have. Um, these things were the craze back in the day. There were some, there was a different version that weren't called Polly Pockets for guys that is now escaping me. Um, I forget the exact name that they used to be called. They were basically Polly Pockets for guys, and I can't think of the name right now. Uh, Koosh Balls. 
doesn't need to be explained. Uh, these were a popular thing back in the 90s. This is a cool piece here. It's Ninja Turtles. Um, it's like a pamphlet book with like a bunch of like uh, postcards and stuff. So this is cool. This is from the 90s as well. Uh, we have Gak here from Nickelodeon. That stretchy thing that was always on their commercials this is the official Gak thing that they always had on commercials that was like uh, a lot of people used to play with. It's super stretchy and stuff. Um, let's see what else we got here. We have a Super Soaker pin. So, obviously, the original Super Soaker here is the uh, Super Soaker 50, I believe, was the first one. So, cool pin to have there. We've got some floppy disks from the 90s. Who could not forget these floppy disks? Man, these things were crazy back in the day. And, like, how cool we thought we were putting these in with games and stuff like that. And, uh, we couldn't fit anything on our computers on a floppy disk right now. Not even a... You could barely fit Word documents anymore on these things. Um... Next thing we have here, sticking with the theme of the Rugrats from before, this is pretty cool. It's the notebook, and also an actual, it looks like obviously the screwdriver he used to use all the time when he used to get out of the playpen, but also as a pen too, so there's that. Uh, let's see here. There's a couple of things in here that I'm going to show you right now all together that aren't from the 90s or early 2000s, but I just got them because they were part of my childhood that I didn't want to let go so i bought them or i had them one or the other uh there's another one actually where is it must be hiding somewhere um it's probably somewhere else that i can't see yeah i don't know where it is right now but i'll find it uh i'll tell you what it is it was basically an ipod classic video like the ipad uh, ipod 5 with the video the first one i had video and then here we have a Sidekick. All these things fully function. This is a Sidekick 3 from T-Mobile. Man, I used to love this phone. This was literally the best phone from back in the day. It, it, it was amazing. Like, flipping this screen around and just being able to text. And uh, this thing's fully function. If I had T-Mobile service and I had a SIM card, I could plug it in right now. Uh, this thing is cool to have. The iRiver. I don't know if you guys remember the iRiver. This was one of the iPods that were out when the iPad was a big thing, too. That they, uh, I, had a, I have a lot of songs here. What's cool about this is this is the original one I had. So, all my songs from that I listen, used to listen to when this was out are still on here. So, that was a cool treat to go into and listen to that. And this is a Zune player. If you guys remember the Microsoft Zune that they used to make, which didn't last very long, but it was actually a pretty cool device. Um, that's from Microsoft there. So, all those were from the early 2000s. One of the cool things here that we have from Disney, I uh, can't forget about the, you know, the best place on earth here, Disney. This is the 25th anniversary guide. That was done in 1998, and uh, this is pretty cool when they were celebrating their 25th anniversary and some of the rides that they have. Man, they have some classic rides on here. There's some things on here that don't even exist anymore, um, but there's still on some things on here that still do exist. Um, it's just really cool to have this magazine, and, and you know, don't forget as a kid on, on Disney World, or if you haven't gone, definitely make time to go, because it's a place you'll never forget, and I still, I went there a few years ago, even as an older person, and it's just as much magical then it is it is when you were a kid but um just a really cool piece to remember but uh who could forget sock and boppers sock and boppers um if you had a, br a brother or a sister you used to kill them with these things it's a, basically like a pillow fight but they actually made these things and i have two of these because they only come with uh, they come with two in one box they make it seem like they come with four but they only come with two so you need another box to play with someone um so that was a cool piece um, the next thing I have here, one of my other favorite shows from back in the 90s, I love Saved by the Bell, and Kelly Kapowski is, um, one of my childhood crushes for sure, she looks amazing, and, uh, I was able to get her card, uh, from one of the training card sets from back in the 90s, this is actually graded, uh, an 8, and, uh, hopefully one day, she will reply to my Twitter account, and see her tweet to me, or me tweet to her, to get this thing signed by her, that would be literally amazing if she ever did that. Um, so that's what that is. You can forget the classic Tamagotchis from back in the day. This thing fully functions as well. You can see it's still hatching the egg there. You probably can't see that from that far away. But um, Tamagotchis, one of the original ones from the 90s. This thing is cool. It still functions and all that. So this is pretty cool. Um, what else can we got here? So one of the crazy games that everyone used to play back in the day was Pog. 
Do you guys remember that? People used to collect these things like crazy. So these are those pod caps that everyone used to collect. I have a bunch of them from Universal Studios, from Marvel ones, from uh, Power Ranger ones. Uh, McDonald's used to make some. Coca-Cola used to make some. They were just all over the place. I have this album filled with it. And then I have this. And then I have these as well that were all filled with pogs. Um, this game was crazy. Like... Basically what it worked is you used to slam these things out on a table and your you people would play for keeps so that was like a thing. So just a lot of cool stuff there. Here we have another McDonald's toy uh, from Batman. And if you guys remember these terrible Tiger Electronics things, man, most of these were so bad. But uh, they were cool from back in the day when you were a kid and you thought you were cool having these if you didn't have a Game Boy. But um, yeah, these Tiger Electronic things, they weren't very good. As a matter of fact, this Looney Tunes things that I have over here to remember the Looney Tunes actually has more pods in there as well. Uh, Nickelodeon here. Clarissa, ex Clarissa explains it all. Great show. Uh, this is her notebook, her official notebook that she had on the show. Uh, this is a uh, Game & Watch. This is the Gold Cliff Edition, so this is pretty cool. Uh, let's leave that for last. Uh, who can forget about the Goosebumps here? Man, I, and this is the exact book I used to read as when I was a kid. These things were awesome because when you read it and you got to the bottom of a page, you would read the story and say, hey, if you want to continue reading the story, keep flipping a coin until it comes up tails, then turn to page 17. Uh, or it would tell you to turn to page 101, depending on what you decided to do. It was like, choose your own adventure book. Goosebumps were, were like the premiere of doing that, and I loved reading those books, and that one was really good. Keeping with the book theme here, we actually, rem I don't know if you guys remember these uh, scary stories. I used to love reading these as a kid. These were scary as hell when you were a kid. And these were just a lot of fun to read. And, uh, man, they were scary when you used to read those by yourself when you were in your room. Uh, speaking of the iPad I was looking before, before, here's the iPad that I was talking about. The iPad 5th generation video. And what's nice about this is all of this is brand new. Like, the, uh, the screen is brand new. The um, touch wheel, uh, the body case, the battery inside, this is all brand new. So, like... It's not going to stop functioning on me or anything. I was able to get that brand new. Um, here we just got a 90s book that I got from Amazon. It's a, it's a really cool read if you guys want to get into the 90s nostalgia. This is a good book to pick up from Amazon. It's uh, 15 or 20 bucks. And it has a bunch of 90s nostalgia things to read and a lot of the things we used to love in the 90s. So that was a cool piece to read. Uh, one of the prize things I used to love that I never got as a kid. I don't know about you guys, but man... When I was a kid, I really wanted Nickelodeon magazines. That commercial was one of the more iconic things that everyone used to remember when they were a kid. And man, the Nickelodeon, I used to want these things so bad. And now I have a bunch of them here. Uh, I'm not going to show you all of them, but let's, let's go with this last one here. Hilary Duff, another classic show from back in the 90s. And, man, I wanted this magazine so bad. They had so many cool things in this magazine. All these con all these are intact. They have all the inserts and stuff. They had so many cool posters. They had a lot of cool trivia things. They added, like, random, like, things that you could punch out of here. And that commercial will always play in my head. Every time I used to see it, I'd be like, can I get that magazine? And it was a no. But I have them now. And uh, those things are so awesome to read, especially because, obviously, you're reading stuff from the 90s and, like, remembering the shows and stuff. So always a cool read. Uh, let's look at these posters here that we got here. Some of these things are signed, so these are really cool. So let's go through some of these now. Um, this is the pa Red Power Ranger. I forget his name off the top of my head, but this is signed by the original person who did the voice of the or played the Red Ranger, and that's a really cool piece to have. I'll be putting that up somewhere around here. Um, this is signed by the original guy, uh, Gary. I forget his last name, who did the Donatello uh, voice, uh, for Ninja Turtle, so this is really cool, it's signed by him, really cool piece to have that I got him to sign that, and speaking of my favorite shows, uh, let's look at this last one first, I have, uh, Dawson's Creek here, I used to love Dawson's Creek, and this is a actual 1998 photo from the WB that was handed around by the cast, so these are actual official ones that are, that were handed by the cast, so this isn't like a reprint or anything like that, so this is really cool to have as well. And the last one that I have here is all the ones from my favorite show. Of course, Boar Meets World, the best show of the 90s, uh, hands down. And these are all official ones that were given out to the cast as well. I'm really lucky to have this. Um, Topanga was easily 
most people's, and definitely my number one crush from the 90s, heck, I still have a crush on her now. She still looks amazing. And um, just really happy to have these, um, you know, from the classic show. I still watch this show all the time. There'll be times where I'm randomly, like, bored, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to watch the best episode to watch that I always go to. If I don't want to watch the whole entire season from, you know, from the beginning, because sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, and I just want to watch one random episode, the go-to episode is the Pittsburgh, the Long Walk to Pittsburgh, episode one and two. Man, she looks so good in that when she comes through the, like, through the door and it's raining, and she comes, like, wet to come back and find him because she was moving and stuff. Man, I still watch that episode, and I'm like, damn. Um... But yeah, that's my Boy Meets World rant. Um, moving on here, we got, uh, if you guys remember these books from back in the day, Star Wars Episode One. This is a really cool book. These are the ones that you like, you press these and they make noise. They, and when you're reading the book, it tells you when to press them. So that's also a cool piece. And one of the last, uh, well, we have a few more things, but these are one of the last few things in this box. So I can get this box out of the way. The Pokédex. Another thing that I really wanted as a kid that I don't remember ever having uh, is the Pokédex. This thing is cool. Still functions and all that. You can look up the Pokémon, the first original 151, type in their number and see their stats, their weight, and all that kind of stuff. Really cool. And, uh, of course, we got my Pokémon binder, the exact binder that I had when I was a kid. And my collection of the first original 151 that got me into Pokémon. I don't have every single one yet, but I do have uh, the main ones, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur. Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Squirtle, Wartotor, and Blastoise are all here. I am missing a few, as you can see. I have them in order of 1 to 151, so if you see one that's missing, that is the number one, you know, the number that's missing, so I easily know which ones I don't have. So I do have a, a, a bunch missing. I have, like, about maybe 120. I'm probably missing, like, 30 or 40 or something like that. But uh, really cool uh, cards here to have when I was a kid. So this was cool. One of the things that was really popular when we were kids is these trading card things. So they made a few of them actually. This one is the Miss Pac-Man ones that came with like little trading cards and or sorry stickers and a piece of bubble gum. These are the the Pac-Man ones that they came out with. Um, and then there's these two. Is it in here? Uh, you guys remember these baseball ones we used to collect that used to come with a like a, a piece of gum inside? I wouldn't even want to know what these sticker cards now look like with that piece of gum and that gum's probably ridiculous right now. Because these have never been opened. But but the ones that we used to collect a lot of, and I'll show you guys at the very end with the binder of all this stuff here, is um, these actual trading cards. Like Disney made one for their 25th anniversary. Uh, MTV Raps made it. Um, this is a trading card for Family Guys, Perfect Strangers, and Full House. That's in there. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers has one. Uh, the Beetlejuice has it. There are a lot of these. Uh, the College Years for, and Saved by the Bell, the original. And I have a bunch more in here and this giant binder. I'll show you guys towards the end of this video so you guys can get a look at them. I kept one of each, you know, one of each one that I had just to keep them sealed just for, you know, to remember them. But uh, that's the giant collection of all my small stuff of everything that I have. I do have a few board games that are over there, uh, you know, that I played as well. You know, Mousetrap is over there. You know, nothing crazy. Uh, Twister's over there, which you guys might have saw in the 90s video and stuff like that. Um, but this is basically my whole 90s collection. If you guys have seen my game room tour, I cleaned out one of the white shelves, the, the shelf over there, the glass case. That's where all this is going to go, except for the posters. I need to find room for those because, as you guys know, there's not a lot of room in here anymore. So we got to see where we can put those. Maybe in the movie room, we got a spot there to put at least a few of them. I can't put all those Boy Meets World up. That's impossible. But at least one of them would be nice to put somewhere. Um, but that is basically it. So before we go, let me show you guys this big binder here. So many of these cards that they used to have back in the day. Uh, Space Jam. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from back in the day. All these classic shows that we used to remember these by. Here come, uh, there's my card. There's my girl right there. One of them. Um, well, here's Jumanji. They made these for some of the movies. Just a lot of these. Uh, these are the college years from Saved by the Bell. Here's some of the Disney World ones. MTP Raps, Fuller House. So I just wanted to show you guys some of those. Let's go ahead and end this video. One of the things that I actually forgot to show you guys in this video is these two pieces here. I had them to the side. I almost forgot to show them all. Thank God I remember. These things are cool. It's from Nickelodeon. These, this is an actual phone. It actually still works if you hook up a cord to it. Then is you can actually turn this knob and 
press this button. Get the iconic Nickelodeon noise. Same thing with this one. It does the same thing. This one needs to be plugged in. There's a power cord to it. But uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, it works as a phone and it has a bunch of different noises. So I just wanted to show you guys that before we end the video, just to give you guys an idea of two other pieces that are in my collection. This is really cool. This is an alarm clock, uh, in case you guys don't know. That can wake you up to the same kind of noises that this thing has. So, really cool two pieces that I have. Alright guys, so that was everything from my 90s collection. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and everything. If you guys remember anything that I didn't share in the 90s that maybe I didn't show off in the collectibles, leave those comments below and let me, let me know what you guys are thinking that I may have missed. I'd love to hear all the 90s stuff that you guys can think of. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Gaming tech. Gaming tech. is the gaming tech. Gaming techie. Gaming tech. Eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming techie.